I can tell you, so we lost one senior on the team this last year for the men's side. So most everyone's coming back, got a, got a couple of freshmen in this year. Uh, I will tell you that every single player on the team remembers that day, how it felt. Um, and using that, not necessarily to, to look back and become depressed, but necessarily to, to fuel them. Um, I, I can tell you that text messages over the summer, phone calls with kids, whether it's, hey coach, I'm doing this, training here, how about this? You know, it's a lot of that all points back to the feeling that they had, um, really not only in the conference championship, but a couple opportunities that were missed during the regular season as well. So I can tell you that, uh, that they're definitely proud of the work they put in last year to get to where they are, but um, they're using how the season ended this last year to kind of fuel them for this year, for sure. It's going to be a lot of fun. Everyone has a lot of experience um, playing matches and being in those tight positions. So, and then adding new guys onto the team brings a new dynamic that hopefully we can grow on from last year. Um, it's been a lot of fun. They're all three different guys that add something very different to our team, and but everything good, and we're excited to see what they can do for our uh, program and let it grow in the future. Yeah, continuity and familiarity with, with our systems, our programs, our schedule, the way that, way that we work. Um, you know, we, we did add a new uh, assistant coach to the mix. We have a couple of freshmen um, that we're adding to the mix as well. So to be able to have a lot of those upperclassmen that know the culture, have helped establish it during their time here, and then be able to integrate a few pieces to the puzzle um, it's really been it's really been a lot of fun for me. Um, you know, in years past, maybe you know, a few years ago, as we're getting the program going, I'm still really focusing on culture, 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 and and building up what our expectations and our standards are. But the great thing now is that I, I'm not really the one having to do that anymore. It's a lot of the kids that have taken ownership of it, and uh, and I'm really really proud of that. So it's been a lot of fun for me to get to watch them grow and and really take ownership of the program. I think we're mainly focusing on just getting that effort and motivation to continue doing well during our season, just pushing hard to set the goals for our team where we want to go uh, during our season. Especially the guys that have been here, the senior class, the upperclassmen that have worked really hard over the years, I, I think a lot of for them it's a reward um, to get the opportunity to play a team like Swarthmore. Um, just brought in top three recruiting class in the country. Um, to get to play some teams like that uh, that are going to be uh, top 15, top 10 teams in the country. I think it's really just a reward for them uh, that, that they've earned the right to be able to be on the same court with those teams, uh, to compete against them. And hey, look, you know, anything can happen uh, on any given day. We saw that on the other side last year when we didn't bring our number, our best effort and our energy to the match. And so we know what that looks like. So we know that, hey, this is a great opportunity for us. Um, and, and I believe that they've earned it. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, what's been kind of missed uh, by some people, I know the coaches have definitely noticed, but really the last couple of years of COVID, how it's really affecting the high school kids as they come to college and the center college that the academic rigor, the requirements that are, you know, that, that are asked of them as far as study habits and things. And, and I think that, you know, at the beginning, I think that was a little something different, um, being in class and having to, uh, to go through some of the requirements and the standards uh, for some of the in class. But, you know, again, having an established um, upper class that has a great culture as far as getting your work done, the standards there, um, you know, the, the incredible GPA that they've had each, each of the years um, that they've had. It's more just a culture thing with that, about the culture of getting, getting your work done, um, you know, being able to take care of your own business. So just even that part off the court. Um, and then of course, it's always when you've got a good team, you've got uh, some freshmen that are here, they're gonna wanna play. Uh, but they know that, hey, in order to get on the court, we're gonna need to take care of our business off the court as well. So to be able to add that, add their energy, um, their excitement and enthusiasm. And you know, it's nice when you look down, you've got you know, 10 guys that can start any given match. Um, it is really nice to see that kind of competition. And then not only the competition amongst themselves, but knowing that, hey, I could be training my replacement, but it's what's best for the team, uh, you know, that you've really turned the corner.